Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a Reference and Technology Librarian at the Brookline Village Library and I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your own decoupage notebook. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to-go program? Here's how it works. Each to-go kit comes complete with everything you need to follow along with an awesome DIY project and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com events to find out what and when our next project will be. Today's project will take most makers about an hour to complete plus several hours of drying time. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit one book cover template, two chipboard covers, one blank booklet, two binding support strips, one bag of ephemera, one bottle Mod Podge, and one foam paintbrush. From home, you'll also need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some binder or paper clips. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. Start by cutting out your book cover along the outer lines on your template. Next, use a pencil, stylus, or bone folder to trace over the rest of the printed lines on your template. Finally, fold and press along each of these lines, then flip your template over so the unprinted side faces up. Now that your cover is prepared, you can begin decorating it using the process of decoupage, a fancy way of saying gluing paper. Start by experimenting with the ephemera included in your kit to find a layout you like, cutting or tearing your paper as needed. If you have extra photos, magazines, or damaged books around your home, you might want to add some of those in as well. When you're happy with your layout, open your Mod Podge and use your foam brush to apply a thin layer all over the surface of your book cover template. Place your first piece of paper, then apply another thin layer of Mod Podge all over the top of it. Continue layering your items and don't forget to apply additional Mod Podge between every item or parts of your design might buckle unevenly from the difference in moisture. Some of the ephemera in your kit might be stickers, which you can peel and stick to your cover, but you'll still want to apply Mod Podge over them for an even finish. Don't worry if some of the Mod Podge puddles in white in a few places, it will dry clear. When you're happy with your design, fold your template along each of the lines one more time to ensure your objects are fully adhered, then leave it to dry for at least two hours before assembling your notebook. Once your cover template is fully dry, place it printed side up on your work surface for assembly. Using your Mod Podge and foam brush, glue the small support strip and two chipboard covers into the spaces marked. Next, glue the large support strip over the inside edges of both the covers. Apply Mod Podge along the edges of the covers and fold the cover template down around them. You can use binder or paper clips to hold the cover in place as it dries for at least two hours. When your whole cover is dry, apply Mod Podge to the outer pages and binding of your blank booklet, then press it firmly into your finished book cover. Use a few books or other heavy objects to press the binding in place overnight, and your custom notebook should be ready for use. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media at BRKLIB using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.